Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Jurassic World video. In today's video, we continue our quest on gathering all of the latest internal rumours and news coming from the Jurassic franchise, and more specifically for Jurassic 7. So buckle up as it's an exciting time as the new movie is still slated to release on July 2nd, 2025. Over the recent weeks, lots of rumours and news has released publicly that gives us an insight into what to expect for the 7th Jurassic movie. But in the meantime, we'll continue to have our fundraiser set up on our videos where we're helping to support the tens of thousands displaced and killed children in Palestine and across the Middle East. No matter your views, it's important to realise that children should never get caught up in all of this. So, should you have the heart and funds to do so, please consider donating to our fundraiser if you can. We can all make a difference together. Thank you. But now, let's find out what the latest news and rumours are for the next Jurassic World movie. Right, so, before beginning this video, I think it's a given for the majority of people watching this, so you can ignore this message, but unfortunately there's going to be some people who won't really understand what rumours and speculation means, and will decide to go down to the comments and immediately type out clickbait, even though it's not, just because they don't really understand it. So, as a heads up here, it's an obvious message now, take everything said in this video with a pinch of salt. Not because some may think it's not true, but the movie industry changes and some information that's coming out right now might be a little bit dated and doesn't represent the current idea of the movie and more. So yes, please keep that in mind when watching today's video. But nevertheless, what shall we begin with today? Well, let's start with the title of the video. It seems as though Jurassic World might be returning to Isla Nublar. Now, why do I think that? Well, the latest information and rumours comes from a company or a little, I don't know what you want to call it, social community thing called uh, Real News Hawaii. And they've actually tweeted out and posted on Facebook saying that they've got a latest rumour about a Jurassic World project being filmed in Hawaii. So they go ahead and say, rumour. Okay. We are definitely in the take it with a grain of salt stage of this rumour mill when it comes to Jurassic World 4, and we understand that until boots are on the ground filming, anything can happen. But we got wind that a Jurassic World team is expected to be on Kauai next month. This will most likely be for scouting, but they are fast tracking this movie big time for a summer release next year. So there you have it, whilst this might not be information that's so in depth, this is still coming from a team where they seem to know quite a lot about what's going on in Hawaii and especially when it comes to whether films are being filmed in Hawaii or not. But nevertheless, it does make you think, why are they filming in Hawaii? Because as we know, when it was filmed in Hawaii, it was Jurassic World and Jurassic Park for Isla Nublar. And I believe some scenes for uh, Jurassic Park 2 and Jurassic Park 3 as well were also filmed in Hawaii as well. And they were obviously for Isla Sauna, but it seems as though, but it seems as though Hawaii is literally the go-to place when it comes to Isla Nublar filming. So why are they filming there? Well, loads of people are obviously thinking that they'll be filming here because it's going to be a prequel to the Jurassic Park movie or something like that, maybe a prequel to Jurassic World. But I just want to remind you guys that it doesn't necessarily mean that Isla Nublar will be the main focus of the movie. One, they could be just filming there for a flashback sequence for the movie, who knows? Or two, they could film it, this in Hawaii and make it come out to be anywhere in the world. It doesn't have to be Isla Nublar, it could literally be any kind of scene, anything they want. If Hawaii matches exactly what they want from the scene, then of course, they'll go to Hawaii and they'll film it there. So it doesn't necessarily mean that this will be Isla Nublar. And for now, it seems as though it's only scouting, since we know filming starts in about three to five months from now on in the United Kingdom. I assume that they're pretty much just going to go here, scout the area to see if it's something that they want to do and move ahead with and, you know, just at the end of the day, see what they can do with Hawaii. But again, filming hasn't begun there just yet, so this could all change. But yes, because we do have Isla Nublar filmed in Hawaii quite frequently, this does actually boost the earlier rumours of this movie being a prequel. If you guys aren't caught, caught up with the information lately, we kind of posted a video and a Twitter poll to see if you guys want a prequel to the Jurassic World or Jurassic Park movie because some latest internal rumours do suggest that this may actually be a prequel which actually contradicts the earlier reports of it being a sequel to Jurassic World Dominion. So it's a little bit conflicting at the time being, we don't entirely know quite yet, but since they are filming in Hawaii and should they actually go with Isla Nublar being filmed there, it does seem as though this could be edging towards it being a prequel, who knows. 
We also speculated a little bit about that and theorized about that as well, considering the new director that we have on the movie. So I highly recommend going out and checking out that last video that we've uploaded here on YouTube. So yeah, that's the information that we have for the latest rumor about where this movie is going to be filmed at. But what else do we know? Well, some exciting news here. Quite a few insiders who typically know a little bit more about movies than I do, well, they are actually reporting that recently they've learned of the script for Jurassic 7. No spoilers here, but it seems as though this movie will be great if they stick to the script. Some are even describing it as the best script since the original Jurassic Park movie which is obviously a very, very big praise to make. And it's not just one, two, three people. We're talking about maybe nine or ten people who have said the same thing about once they've learned about the script for Jurassic 7. So whilst I don't internally know exactly what this could mean or why they mean this or why they're saying this, it does seem as though the production of this movie, at least for the script side of things, seems rather positive right now. With the excitement of Spielberg working heavily on the movie, with Gareth Edwards now being the director, and very positive reports on the script already with David Kep, the original Jurassic Park scriptwriter, helming the project when it comes to the script, loads of people are going to be very excited for this, and, and obviously it already seems like it's going uphill from here, and it sounds really, really good so far. So whilst we don't have anything too advanced to report on quite yet, it does seem as though everything's quite positive for this next Jurassic movie. Now here we get into the very speculative side of things, so speculative that I didn't really want to report on it, I just wanted to tease it on, on Twitter until today's video. But we're still trying to clarify this, but apparently, reportedly, a female lead seems to be the main character of this movie, but is not one of the returning characters from any of the previous movies. So whether this is Claire Deering, Ellie Sattler or Kayla Watts, maybe even Sarah Hardin, they are not going to be part of this movie by the looks of it and they are not the female lead that they are looking for. Now they do specifically say movies, so when I teased this on, on Twitter, I did put General Ortega there because obviously we know loads of people want Brooklyn to come into live action and be the main character, but if this is to be a prequel to the Jurassic World or Jurassic Park series, that's obviously not going to happen because she's just not old enough. However, what is another female lead that we've had recently for the Jurassic franchise? Well, if you guys are aware of Jurassic Park Survival, this is a kind of sequel prequel to the Jurassic Park movie. It takes place one day after the Jurassic Park events, and it involves a main character that's a female lead called Maya Joshi. Now, I'm not too sure what's going to go on here. Maya Joshi could actually be <laughs> the female lead. We could see a continuation from Jurassic Park Survival, or we could see a live adaptation of Jurassic Park Survival become a movie. Not too sure where they're going with this, you know, since we, we kind of assume that it's going to be a prequel. I wouldn't say it's too far-fetched for Maya Joshi to be the main female lead. But then again, it just makes you think, what's the point in releasing Jurassic Park Survival if the same events and same characters are going to appear in the movie? You know, just doesn't really make too much sense to me. So whilst I would assume that Maya Joshi, out of all of the names I've just listed, is the most likely one, I also would say it's more likely that a random new female character or actress is going to be appearing in this movie, one that we've never seen before in the franchise and one that we maybe haven't even heard of, we have to wait and see. But yeah, it seems as though we are going to have a female lead, so there's going to be loads of people who are so anti-woke and so upset about that in the comments, I know already. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with a female lead guys, as long as she does the right job, as long as she's casted in the most perfect way and is the perfect fit for the character. Now what more do we know about this movie? Well currently, very early on, again this could be lost in translation for the time being, but it is being described as a horror action movie very similar to the first Jurassic Park and Jurassic World movies. Now obviously, one was more horror than the other and one was more action than the other. Jurassic Park being the more horror section and Jurassic World having the more action sequences. So whilst I would say that they're maybe not the same movie, this next movie could be in between of Jurassic Park and Jurassic World. For me personally, I feel as though Jurassic needs a lot more action, that's why I was very excited for David Leach to take over. So hearing that action is part of the genre for this next movie does excite me a little bit. Whether that's Jurassic World Dominion action or whether that's Jurassic World action, I'm not too fussed. I, I know that Jurassic needs more action, so I'm very excited for it. And to then mix it in with horror elements like we got for Jurassic Park, that makes me even more excited. But again, what I'm hearing is that it's kind of a mix between the movie Aliens and Jurassic Park. So take of that what you wish, but I mean, that gets me a little bit excited as well, <laughs> I can't lie. 
Now, I don't, I don't know what that entirely means, whether that's the story for Aliens and the story for Jurassic Park, or whether that's the vibe of Jurassic Park and the vibe of Aliens, or whether that's the story of Aliens and the vibe of Jurassic Park, or the other way around. I don't really know, but I assume that they mean more about the vibe and the feel of this movie is going to be very similar to Aliens and Jurassic Park combined. We just have to wait and see. Not only that, but the movie is reportedly not overcomplicated with an overarching story like we had for Jurassic World Dominion. It's much more down to earth and simplistic, which actually, I guess, Jurassic could do with right now. Now, I, thing is, Jurassic could do with that right now, but I feel as though they could do with that in the modern era, in 2024 and 2025 and beyond. They don't need to do a prequel with something like this. There's so much set up for the future of Jurassic, and if you just want to make a movie that doesn't set up a massive overarching story, you can just, I don't know, follow a family on their ranch where Carnotauruses are killing their cattle and Velociraptors are hunting them down and they have to try and kill these predators before time runs out and their family ranch is destroyed. Something very small and simplistic, an hour and a half movie, nothing too crazy, nothing too long. If you want to go down that route, keep it in the modern era. To do a prequel to either Jurassic World or Jurassic Park, I don't really know how you're going to do that unless it's something to do with Isla Sauna. So... We just, again, we just have to wait and see, but if they are going to be more down to earth and simplistic, I agree with that, that sounds good, but keep it modern era after Jurassic World Dominion's events. That's what I think, but I, I'm interested to see what you guys think in the comments below. So there we have it. The only confirmed bit of information that we do have for today's video is something I just want to touch up on very quickly right here. We recently learned that the Godzilla 2014 and Star Wars Rogue One director, Gareth Edwards, is in final talks to be the director for this next movie. Well, he recently came out and confirmed to Collider that it's finalized and that he will be working on the next Jurassic movie. He apparently was ready to take a break, but dropped everything when he heard the news of a new Jurassic director being needed. He's very excited to begin work with Frank Marshall, David Kep, and Steven Spielberg. But yeah, it seems as though this movie, whilst the filming may seem to be a little bit rushed as it's planned to start in three months' time, it still seems like this movie is on path to be really, really good. And we must remember, this is a smaller budgeted movie that's now reported as simplistic. So maybe this filming time frame isn't as bad as some is making it out to be considering what information we have available to us. I'm sure it will be the start of something great. For me, I just hope it's really not a prequel and that the earlier reports of it taking place after Dominion are in fact true. Fingers crossed for that, because I feel as though we've had the mainland plot available to us for over half a decade now, and we've done nearly nothing with it besides Dino Tracker, a portion of Dominion, and the upcoming Chaos Theory show. It would just be really sad to see Trevorrow being disrespected as we go back in time to a pre-Dominion era, considering how much and how well Jurassic World Dominion set up the future for this franchise. Love or hate the movie, you can't deny that it set up the future very, very well. But anyways, this movie is still looking good, and I, of course, am excited for it. If you enjoyed today's video, then please like the video and share it around with your friends. Feel free to also subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, but don't forget to also consider donating to our fundraiser if you're able to as well. Make sure you're also keeping yourself safe out there, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye Hello, hi, you, did you enjoy the video? Just a little reminder to press that like button and also subscribe. I just want to thank my Patreons for this month on screen right here, as giving me that little extra support really does go a long way. But anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.